good morning and I'm so excited for this weekend my daughter is turning 10 she is turning 10 you guys like that to me is so hard to comprehend like I know she's turning 10 but then in my brain I'm like she's turning 10 like where did the time go I remember when she was just born so she was born when I was 22 years old which means I was pregnant I was 21 and now 10 years later she's turning 10 she's turning 10 and then my cousin is celebrating her 30th birthday which I'm so excited because I don't get to see people too often since we're like an hour away in North Carolina so I'm really excited to kind of hang out and celebrate her 30th birthday she said wear your fancy PJs and she's gonna stream the Princess Diaries outdoors and I'm just really excited for that and hang out with everyone but for my daughter, I ordered a custom cake from Walmart. So Walmart does kind of like Publix, you can do custom cakes. And I ordered one for my two other kids' birthdays. They share a birthday a day apart. I ordered a ice cream themed cake. You can sift through and kind of choose what cakes they want. I learned about it because of TikTok. What people would do is order the white one with like the piping and make it super simple. And then at home they would add little black ribbons, which looked so cute. But you can sift through all of their ideas and they have a ton to choose from, a ton. So for my kids, I did an ice cream one. It's not an ice cream cake, but it was like ice cream themed, which was really cute. And you get to choose the filling, whether you want strawberry or Bavarian. You choose whether you want the chocolate or the vanilla layers, whatever. And then buttercream or whipped frosting. So for my kids, the ice cream one, that was whipped, but it honestly wasn't that good. I feel like I'm not crazy about buttercream either, like the store buttercream from Walmart cakes, but I, this time I just did regular buttercream and then my daughter chose strawberry filling and she picked out a butterfly cake. So I'm gonna be picking that up today. Should be ready, said after eight. I mean, it's only like past six o'clock in the morning, so it's still a little bit too early. And then while I'm out and about, I have some errands to do it. Oh, I just got a text message. Yep, Walmart Bakery, your custom cake order is ready for pickup, woohoo. I don't know why the lighting is so yellow, but I'm about to head out. I have my Henry Rose fragrances here recently the latest one that I got is Queens in Monsters which it's kind of powdery at the end but it also has like warm sensual notes and I lately have been really loving more warmer slightly sweet if it's done right like the not super fruity even though I kind of appreciate those as well so I got this one on Sephora I had a Sephora gift card for my birthday and then I have Fog. Fog is like a very musky neutral scent like no warmth no florals so i'm going to mix these two one of my favorites is oris 22 i mentioned this in a previous vlog it's by stephanie leda and i absolutely love that scent i have to buy a new one probably like the full bottle because i can easily go through these tubes but i like these tubes because then i get to try different fragrances without having to you know buy the whole full thing and i also love kylie jenner's cosmic believe it or not but the problem is that one I'm actually, ooh, this one has like some spiciness at first fog. And for my husband, I have the Menace, the Menace, it's just Menace. Oh, but the Kylie Jenner one, I feel like this would have layered perfectly. I just have fallen in love with how this smells, but the sprayer doesn't work and I have so much of it left. But I did reach out to customer service and they said they would send me a new one after I sent them photos. Um, when I got it because this was actually a gift if you love sweet scents but like a sensual sweet a little bit elevated try the cosmic by Kylie Jenner you might like it I know I feel like people feel a certain type of way because it's Kylie Jenner but I don't know I feel like I, I, I've grown to just absolutely love the scent it just makes me feel so happy all right y'all first order of business I'm gonna pick up a Dunkin Donuts drink I ordered ahead they have a new s'mores drink it has like marshmallow cold foam s'mores syrup I believe and then like graham cracker crumbles on top. I'm like, oh my gosh, that sounds so good. So I'm gonna give it a try. Hopefully it's as delicious as it sounds. Cause you never know. No. Mm -hmm. Hey, my battery's gonna die. What is how I get my coffee? Oh, we're going somewhere, we're going somewhere. She got her drink, she got her drink, we're next. Hello. Oh, I'm oh, the s'mores cold brew, Natalia. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Oh, it looks so good. I am so excited for this. This might just be the most beautiful drink that Dunkin' Donuts has to offer. Look at those graham cracker crumbles. And I don't add any creamer to it because by the time the cold foam mixes in, it's kind of like the perfect amount of creamer. All right, let's go. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like cheesecake crumbles.
Mm. Yep, it's good. It is good. It's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. Would recommend. Would recommend. Would buy again. And then the crunch of the graham cracker crumbles. Oh, it's so good. All right, let's go pick up this cake order. Okay, so we're recording this outfit. I need to buy some party stuff. This stuff is pretty cute. I think I'm gonna grab this because she needs a birthday topper for the cake. I think this is so cute. And then I think this should match the banner and the balloon that I got. And yes, I got some layers here. Pay <laughs> attention to that. I don't even recognize Walmart these days. They are making it look so much like Target. Like seriously, look at this. I mean, it looks really nice. I'm just so not used to Walmart looking like this. I actually really like it though. I should have gotten a larger cart. I have no idea why I got this little car. I guess I didn't think of going grocery shopping today. Well, I did. Let's get these bags in here. I feel like I've been here for an hour and a half, which it's not bad considering I also did grocery shopping for the week other than a few things I didn't get. I also got some cute clothes. I'll show you guys when I get home. But can we talk about this cake? Oh my goodness. I didn't realize it was going to be this huge, first of all. But how beautiful is this? It's everything that I thought it would be. And then I got candles, a one and a zero to do 10 and a happy birthday sign. She is going to love this. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm show you guys some of the things that I got. So I got some active wear for my girls. Each piece was like, I don't know, six, seven dollars. This was 10, 9.99. And then this one's for Eloise. And then I also yeah, got her this here. I thought okay. it was such a cute little set. Oh, you get to, oh, I love you. And then I also picked up this blue tank. I love this color. I think it was like five, six dollars. It's really, really soft. And then this white crop tank to wear with like my sweatpants or something just around the house and, or maybe these shorts. I'm actually gonna try this on right now. <laughs> a little zip up hoodie. This hoodie was $13. The shorts were seven. I mean, it's like so affordable. And then this was six. These shorts are actually very comfortable. It's a size small and this is kind of exactly what I was looking for. It'd be so cute to lunch around in or if you're traveling or something. It's like a really cute set and it was so insanely affordable. Look at you, fancy pants. Are we ready to party? Do you get it? Party? <laughs> so corny. Good morning, you guys. I already got my latte. I set up the decorations for my daughter because I set them up last night. She wanted to wake up to the house already decorated. She's like, I wanna wake up and the decorations are already up. So I did that last night. It's nothing crazy. I got these both off of Amazon. I love the balloon that it's like a matte color and it's not super foiled. And then I moved the bike so that I can make way for this and I put her presents there. Again, nothing crazy, but I wanted to make it cute for her. I usually do, when we used to have birthdays and stuff, I would do balloon garlands and do a little bit more but right now we're like an hour away from everyone and everybody's busy and my sister's moving and there's like so so much going on so we're gonna we asked her what she wanted to do she said she wanted to have waffles for breakfast so we're gonna do waffles for breakfast and then she said she wanted to go bowling and then go out for pizza but i was just sitting on snapchat going through all the memories the nice thing about snapchat is it gives you memories even through your camera roll and like all her different birthdays and stuff and there's just so many great mess our cat tuxedo this was her second birthday i did airplane and cloud cookies with my mom my mom always helped me so much with the birthdays and baking and stuff and then i did a time flies theme my mom made this cake for her so cute it's like not focusing and then we had a little smash cake for her and these are like the little makeshift hot air balloons that i did and then clouds made out of like this poof stuff that i bought on amazon and this was when she was two like the little table set up with all her pictures and stuff where you guys can tell so many memories i think my kids are slowly waking up you know my other two are awake already so i'm gonna get started on the waffle batter Girl loves boxes. See, 
It's like her favorite thing in the world. I wanted to show you guys the hairstyle that I did. I actually tried filming a video for it. I was trying to do the Delaney Childs viral messy bun, but I have short, fine, thin hair, and I didn't have any bobby pins, so I struggled so much, but I'm pretty happy with the outcome considering I don't have any bobby pins. I think I'm gonna have my husband pick some up on the way when we go to bowling, not heat. I'm gonna go to run in the store and buy them, like the dollar store, because you can find them there. And I'm gonna try it again. Tomorrow I have a birthday party to go to, my cousin's 30th birthday. And I'm gonna try this hairstyle again with bobby pins. I feel like it'll be so much better with bobby pins, but even without, I feel like I'm pretty happy with how it looks. And also, also the blue tank top from Walmart, y'all. This, I had to get extra small. I usually never wear an extra small, but they didn't have a small. And I feel like I actually like how the extra small fits because it's so fitted. But it is such a nice tank top and it's so soft. Hopefully it washes well. My kids want to do the pinata, so I'm going to join them outside. But because the candy is going to fall, I'm going to use this tablecloth. We're gonna go grab some pizza. There's a place locally that the owners of the campground we're staying at told us about. They said it's really good and it looks really cute. It's like tucked in. You gotta drive down the street first for like where are we going? <laughs> but it looks really cute. So harmonica? Yeah. Look at this. So cute. And this one was a habanero. And that one's mango something. Well this one's pretty small. You wanna just do this one? Yeah. The waitress told us there's a tap room here with an actual airplane because the two owners here are pilots. Nice. Check it out. It's like a cute little tap room. Let's try to pick a ball. Look at that. Whoa, good job. Let's go, girl. <laughs> good job. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> the birthday girl is the winner. I am almost in last place. <laughs> We're home now. It was so fun bowling. As soon as we finished our game, they did like a whole disco theme. I guess the lights turn on after a certain time. Maybe like 7 o'clock. I don't know. But on the way home, it started downpouring. I got a package come in. It's soaking wet. And hopefully it's fine. Oh, I got you guys some new toothpaste. They came out with a strawberry mango for the Boca. Oh gosh, these are the best toothpaste ever. I use it for the whole family. I use the whitening one for us, and then I tried so many different ones for the kids. Protein powder. Oh, everything. So excited for this. It is the Hydro Jug. If you are in need of a tumbler, forget the Stanleys, forget anything else. This is where it's at. I got one for my friend in the beginning of the year. And it has a straw that you can close so that you can just like throw it in your car, throw it in your purse, whatever. You don't have to worry about it spilling. So I just got 34 ounce, I think. 32, 32.